I'm going to have to try and make it through this whole 12 minutes without sneezing. Hello and welcome to the Livingston FIFA 19 career mod. It's weird to think FIFA 19's here already. I mean, I started Hibs for FIFA 18. And that was like, well obviously a year ago. And that was a lot, that, that came out a lot slower than uh, I'm hoping to put out this one despite actually having less free time now than I did last year. I did like three episodes in a month last year and then I kind of pushed out quite quickly towards the end of the year. And I, pr I probably fucked myself there. But uh, for this, uh, I'm hoping to do it fairly consistently, you know, a few uploads a week at least, instead of doing two uploads in like a day and then waiting a month before I upload again. <laughs> Should also mention uh, we are in Legendary, four minute halves, because, you know, just to speed things up, we'll take the highest offer for the pre-season tournament, obviously. Um, I should probably point out, I'm probably going to do worse than Livingston are doing right now in real life. They just, got, they just beat Rangers, 1-0 uh, at home, I think. And uh, I'm quite bad at this. I'm quite bad at this game, I've got to admit. Kinda, I kind of fly through uh, the objectives and the squad, at, well at the start of the episode anyway, mainly because it doesn't really matter too much because obviously I'm going to try and make signings. We do make a signing in this episode, I think. Um, so youth squads, youth scouts, sorry, youth scouts. Even I do want to use them quite a lot for this. Uh, looking back, I probably could have. Uh, I probably could have. Sorry, I'm trying to try not to sneeze. Probably could have spent a bit more money on them. I thought I had a lot less money than I actually did. I did use a sixty percent boost because you only get a million with Livingston, and oh my god, I sneeze. <laughs> uh, I end up sending the second one to Spain as well. Uh, Mainly because it was Spanish, I didn't really have any other reason. I was going to send them to like Ireland or Italy, and then I decided he's Spanish, I may as well send them to Spain. <laughs> um, pretty sure I just decided any. I was going to go with like technically gifted or something because, you know, go for that Barcelona style player, and then I just decided against it. <laughs> and then before you know it, you're at the first game of pre season. And I believe we win this 2 now. Hopefully this confirms it. 2 now. There you go. Pittman and Lawless scoring the goals. I should also mention as well. I basically know nobody in this team. Uh, and pronunciations will be quite poor. So prepare for that if you're a Livingston fan. I'm personally I personally am a Celtic fan. And uh, yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. I don't know Livingston, the Livingston team inside out or anything. I basically don't know them at all. But hopefully, over the course of the year, I'll learn more about them. And as you see here, we beat Wimbledon two. No, we don't beat Wimbledon. What am I talking about? We beat the, we beat Blackpool two 0 and then we we drew two each way Wimbledon. <laughs> then Cosenza, is that who you'd say? I, I believe I switched the team up a wee bit. And uh, we get beat by them, <laughs> but it's not that it's not that bad really, because I'm pretty sure that was the semi final, and um, I'm fairly happy with that because I didn't think we'd actually even make to the semi final. I'm not really expecting much out of this team if I'm being completely honest. But this is what the shortlist looks like. Now I'm gonna go in for most people. I mean the likes of Jack Hendry are in there, and. Uh, as a Celtic fan, I almost feel obliged to hate that guy. <laughs> um, I just don't think he's good at all. But we're not here to talk about Jack Henry. We might go into that at a later episode. So, this guy, Jakubek, I want to say. I thought this was quite steep from them. I mean, really, f your, your initial offer was £500 of his wage. Then the slow way go up to 800. And I'm like, right, you need to give me something. 50 50, that's fair enough, right? Nope. 
60-40. So I'm like, you need to give me something. 55-45. In the storm at the room. <laughs> no. I think that's outrageous. I don't think there was anything wrong with my my offer there. And my, my manager genuinely looks distraught by that as well. <laughs> 64 rated would have definitely been the highest rated goalkeeper. I uh, think it would have been by 6. I'm pretty sure my highest goalkeeper at the moment is 58. And I was like, right, who else can I go in for? This guy, Belgian, probably got decent potential. Uh, we don't have many wingers. And... <laughs> He's not ridiculously high rated either, so I can see it happening to a certain degree. So, can only offer up to a one year loan. Um, he's only 20 as well. This was a lot easier to get done. Uh, I was going to go with 45, 55, because what happened in the last, what happened with the last deal, never get an agreement. <laughs> So I decided um, probably won't go in for anybody yet. We'll wait till we get a reply, and uh, they rejected me, just like so many people. But it's not really worth dwelling over. We've got so many other players that we can go in for. Although he was probably the best uh, option. I was like, right, we need to get something over the line here. That's two. Uh, two players and since I'm so good at negotiating I managed to fuck both of them up so we're going for I don't know if that's a spelling mistake because he's got an N at the end I would imagine that's silent <laughs> Callum Morrison and I'm thinking right we need to get something over the line I can't afford this guy and I'm sure he will be worth it uh, I was thinking about getting uh, a trade deal done, but trade deals in FIFA just don't seem to make any sense. Like, if I was to offer what I offered them and the player on top, it would probably, you know, they probably they would definitely accept that to be to be to be honest, because um, they do accept this deal. But say I offered. Uh, the the player first did probably want like a million on top of them, and it's just it's not worth it. You're better off just selling the players. And um, I was actually looking for his wage here. I'm pretty sure he's only on like eight hundred and eighty pounds a week. <laughs> so I thought, uh, probably have to give him like a k, a k and a half maybe. Uh, I'm pretty sure I give him an important. Uh, important role because I think that's fair enough. He probably will play most games ahead of uh, that other winger that I've got. I'm pretty sure he's not even a right mid. I think he can play right mid but his primary position is left mid. Because <laughs> he's 19 I wanted 5 years. Uh, they were thinking 2. And I thought you know you need to give me, you need to give me something. <laughs> so go for 3. Managed to get 3 years out of him so he'll be here till he's 22. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna if he's gonna last the whole time here, that what his whole contract, sorry. <laughs> but six hundred and fifty um pounds for it. We're taking a wage cut. Fourteen K for twenty appearances, fair enough. And a six point six K signing bonus is completely fair in my eyes. So everything they're quite cheap there for Morrison. I thought that was very, very cheap. Um quite good bargain hunting. Get them from uh, I don't know part of a Tesco wheel deal or so, I, I don't know what I'm talking about um, De Vita that's who I was thinking of he's probably going to start more times than him I would imagine because he's a good bit younger you know he's only 19 64 rated and uh, we that's probably what the team is going to look like there if you want to pause it and have a look we get rid of uh, Mali as well just, I mean, he's 35 and 54 rated. I don't think he's got any potential whatsoever. In fact, I know he doesn't. Uh, 54 rated is just a shambles, really. <laughs> then we get our monthly scouting updates. And I'm pretty sure this guy, Pittman, was put in the transfer list. So, 
Um, that's probably why we're all getting offers for him. Reason being because we've got just a ridiculous amount of centre midfielders, but I wanted to do a four four two. So I was like, right, five hundred k. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now I don't know what happened yet because I've not played that far into the future yet. But very good start. Good goalkeeper, six foot two, two hundred and fifty k. Got ninety four potential. <laughs> just fantastic. I was thinking about Dave McDonald, and I was like, nah. Just not good enough. I've been getting very good. Uh, been getting very good deals or very good youth players in my Celtic career. And then Spain, we have Masana Lopez and Gerardo. Uh, I think I only took Masana, and then this is what it looks like: forty-eight rated, and then. Um, highest rated goalkeeper in the team when we go to Patrick Anderson uh, I was hoping that I'm, I'm well obviously I'm hoping that Masana has a good bit of potential I'm not sure how far he's going to get on but I do know Patrick Anderson will because he's the highest rated goalkeeper now at 59 and before that I'm pretty sure it was Kelly at 58 <laughs> but that's basically the end of the episode we put him in at the first team Um. But yeah, so that's the first episode. We'll probably play more games in the next episode. So uh, subscribe, leave a like, and stick around if you want to see this career mode because I'm hoping it's not going to be your standard career mode. And I'll do my best to make sure it isn't. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.